Lots of people, guys, have asked me about jungle timings recently. What times do I have to be aware of when I look in the top right? What do I have to think about? Hopefully, this video will answer your questions. This is actually taken from my course that I'm doing for my website. I like the jungle, free jungle seminar I'm doing. So hopefully this, yeah, just like outlines basic timers that you guys should be aware of. If you do enjoy the video and you want to see more of this content, please leave a like down below. Any questions about the timings and stuff I talk about, leave them in the comments. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, join my Discord, or you can just add me and DM me. But just make sure you send me a DM and tell me you're interested. We can sort something out. Pretty much guaranteed tier climb for every single role in ELO. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Also, Patreon is down below as well. So you can get access to like all of my coaching sessions, which is yeah, just another great way to improve. But thank you for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Don't be shit. This right here is a notepad I made for a student who asked me yesterday. And I thought this was probably the most useful like document I've ever made in terms of jungling. I'm going to talk to you guys about what I mean. At 2.30 in a game. This is where you cross over to the other side of the map if you're full clearing, or this is when you hit level three. Level three might entail anything, right? Remember all those lines I showed you. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are so many things you can do. That's why I've just put level three. But at 2.30, a jungler can really do anything. You have to be aware of what they might do based on lanes. If you've got a mid laner who's pushed up 100 HP against a J4 jungle and they've got no wards, ping them like crazy. Three minutes. Base for crab contesting. This is if you get a kill in the early game. You base to contest a scuttle crab. What you are looking for, guys, if you are stronger than the enemy jungler, if you win a 1v1 again, you are thinking about what I call hitting them. Where is a hit on the map? An enemy jungler, you're not going to hit them in their base. You're going to hit them at something that they want. A scuttle crab, their own red buff, their own blue buff, a rift herald, a dragon. You're thinking about timing on the map. They've done this. They're going to be here in 30 seconds time. I can hit them here. Where are they going to be in 40 seconds time? Because I'm now basing. That's how long it takes for a base and to get towards the middle of the map. I've got 40 seconds here to get to the bot crab, which is where they're parting. Excellent. I've got a blasting one on Echo. Let's go. I'm going to kill them. I've got a serrated Dirk already on Karzix. And I think I can hit this guy on his crab. Let's go. If you get first blood or a kill before three minutes, you can easily just recall. Get two long swords. Get a blasting one. Get an Amptone Dark Seal. You can get to that scuttle crab at 3.30 with items. Would you not prefer that? If you do it by invading the enemy jungler guys as well, so if you do invade the enemy jungler and you get a kill like on their red buff or something because they started blue, the reason this is so important is because, again, we're treating jungling like a laning phase. If you kill the enemy jungler, and you've spent the same gold at that point, right? Because at level 1, when we have 500 gold, everyone's the same. We've spent 500 gold. Everyone's on the same page. But naturally, some champions are stronger at certain levels than others. Okay, So I'm stronger at level 3. That's why I'm going to invade you here. You're dead. Unlucky. But now, not only am I stronger at level 3, based off champion interaction, but I'm also plus 3 or 400 gold, right? Depending on first blood or not. I'm also plus 300 gold or plus 400 gold on you. To make use of this, I want to use this extra lead I have for as long as possible. So, if you have time, like if it's around 3 minutes, you can just recall. You can just recall after killing them here or here or something like this. Run to the crab they're going to go towards. Run to the crab they're going to go towards. Think about where they are going on the map. You do not give them anything. One of the most important timings in the game. Most people are going to ride down here. 3.30, right? The scuttle crab. It's already too late. You need to be thinking ahead when you jungle. Yes, everyone knows that crab is at 3.30. How can I get to crab as strong as possible? Four minutes. Base for first camp respawn. What on earth does this mean? The first camp you do after your first buff, so if you go red Krugs, red Raptors, you go blue Gromp, that uh, Gromp, those Krugs, the first camp you do is going to naturally spawn at 420. These camps have 215 timers on them, respawn timers. You finish these camps, so red buff or blue buff, depending on the buff you start at, you might kill that at around 140. It spawns at 130. These have five minute timers. 640, your buffs are going to spawn. The next camp you do, so if that's the first buff, the second camp, or first camp, is going to, you kill this at 2 minutes, 2.15 timer, remember that's 5 minutes, 
215. It's going to spawn at 415 or 420. I just say 420 because, yeah, it's easy to remember, right? Bit of 420, mate. Camp number three, which is level three. Around 225, 230-ish. Respawn at 440-ish. It doesn't have to be precise. As long as you know generally what the timing is. Like, if you go to a camp at around 440 and you wait three seconds for it to respawn, no worries. These are important times to understand. Four minutes, first camp respawn. You have to understand, guys, that when the first camp respawns, it comes back with more HP. It comes back with more armor or magic resist, depending on the camp. These camps have evolved. The game is progressing. The game is getting harder. So in other words, you want to evolve as well. How do we evolve? By basing, by spending gold. Think about Krugs after you kill them. You've killed them, but Krugs have essentially bought like a cloth armor and a ruby crystal. You want to buy two long swords, your Dirk, your Tiamat, whatever it is, right? Whatever jungle you're playing, you want to spend the gold so then you can clear those camps faster. If you stay on the map with just your jungle item, you are still essentially a level one jungler clearing level four camps. Before four minutes, especially when it comes to four minutes, ideally you would have liked to have based to get your first camp so you clear it quickly. Five minutes, dragon obviously spawns, pretty easy one. Second quadrant, crossover. What on earth does this mean? Think about those timings I just put out. 640. If a jungle starts a red buff or blue buff. 420. 440. Close to 5 minutes. The second quadrant is going to respawn around 5 minutes. Let's just say it's 4 minutes in a game. And the enemy jungler went like this. 4 minutes in a game. I'm running out to my Krugs. I do my Krugs. I do my raptors, and it's five minutes for me. Walls are up. If I fall cleared as well, my walls are up. Counts will be correlated. Know this timing. If the enemy jungler ganks top lane, all bot sides up. Very difficult for them to run down here because they don't know. If you show on vision, of course. They can do this. But again, you can ping your laners. You can ping question marks. Maybe your laners will collapse on them. Because that might be free golden experience for them. Important timer as well, five minutes. That is the crossover. 6.30. First buff respawn, recalling for Rift Herald. First buff respawn, like we talked about, right? Around 6.30, you want to be thinking about it. I'm not actually putting the exact time as here, but you're thinking about You want to be preemptive when you play the jungle. You want to see the game ahead of time. You don't want to play the game just live, looking at your screen and reacting on the fly. Otherwise, you are going to be behind. It's better to be early for a camp or a hit then 10 seconds late. Because those 10 seconds, maybe they've already done that camp and you can't hit them anymore. The point of a hit is to hit them while they're doing the camp or buff. 6.30, first buff respawn, recalling for Rift Herald. Why do you recall for Rift Herald around this time? And again, guys, like this is just generally speaking, right? If nothing is happening on the map, and let's just say you have rugs, red, raptors, wolves, blue, gromp, and it's like around six minutes. Rift Herald, because it's so important these days, remember this spawns at eight minutes, because it's so important, you want to try and time your clear into the Rift Herald. So if you had all your camps up and it's around six minutes, you can easily go Krugs, Red, Raptors, Wolves, Blue, Gromp. No worries. That's in an ideal world if nothing is happening, right? But most of the time there is. So sometimes you might just have Krugs, Red and Raptors up and it's six minutes. And you're like, well, you know, if I clear these camps, it's going to be like seven minutes or something. So I've got a minute until Rift? Well, maybe the enemy jungler's blue buff is spawning. After you do Krugs and Red, you hit level 6, right? And it's like 6.30, maybe. And the enemy blue buff, you know they started there. Oh, and they're only level 5. I can hit them here. Ah, then you might think about this, right? So it changes, yeah? I'm not like saying you do this every single time. Like Rift Herald's up at, you know, 8 minutes. You want to, you know, path into it because camp situations are always going to be like different. There'll be like certain patterns you can recognize for sure. I'm just saying to be aware of it, yeah? Trying to path in towards Rift Herald because it's so important. It's such a big deal at the moment. Seven minutes, second buff respawn. You think about the enemy's blue buff or red buff. The second buff they did. If they started red, you think about that blue buff respawning. Because it will soon enough. This is like 30 seconds ahead of time, of course. That's a hit you can have. 